Hello, future tubers, and welcome back to the next Let's Play with me, Blue Anculo. Dark Sun, Shattered Suns, Advanced D&D 2nd Edition. Look at all that. Released in 1993 for MS-DOS. We are streaming, and uh, we'll be recording these nicely for the future tubers. So there's a little intro video here we want to share before we take a little cut after I create all my characters. But, uh, yeah, it's sort of following on from our gold box series. Um, you know, <laughs> there's a lot of, lot of, lot of things to, t to explain if you've never heard of this game before, but it is kind of in between gold box era and uh, Infinity Engine Baldur's Gate era. But um, I played it as a kid and I really enjoyed it. It's got some glitches and stuff, but overall it's a pretty good game. And uh, Dark Sun World's a little bit darker and grittier, maybe, than classic um, Dragonlance or um, whatever the other one is, Forgotten Realms Worlds. It's a, you know, desert planet with a dark sun and pretty much everything's out to get you and kill you. Magic's a little bit funky. There you go. The once lush and beautiful world of Dark Sun is now bleak and deadly. Sorcerer kings rule the city-states, crushing life and freedom in their quest for power. In Drage, sleeves, slaves feed the power of the Sorcerer King in an endless dance of death. So, uh, it's kind of, it's got these city-states things, kind of like Greek style, but everyone's like a Sorcerer King. It's kind of Roman style, I guess, maybe. And then everyone's got all the, or one or the other, whatever. It's got that kind of style where there's a bunch of cities and mad kings and tons of people. There's lots of arenas and uh, gladiator combat and deserts. And everywhere you go, there's things trying to kill you. So future tubers, we're going to take a shortcut here. When I come back, I'll have my party created. And then we'll read through the manual's intro story and we will get to work. See you guys in a second. And we are ready to go here, future tubers. With a little bit of discussion with the live chat, I have settled on four characters for our um, brave party. And uh, they're all girls, so it's the all, the, the female, uh, this is uh, Charlie's Angels or the, the girl team, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. I haven't come up with the name of the team yet, but <laughs> they're all ladies. And uh, let's go through them all uh, very quickly here. Where's my view button? Edit, sure, and it will give you the full screen. There you go. So, anyway, our first lead character is China, the half giant, chaotic good, fighter psionic, psionicist. And I did just max their stats because, you know, whatever. Uh, anyway, this character will have probably our least AC at the beginning, so weakest dodge, but highest HP. And they will be our main frontline character using psionics to self-buff and generally just smack things into oblivion with 24 strength. So, that's pretty awesome. Then we have Strange Mind, who is, or tech, is, is technically a bug, you know. Uh, but as a bug, uh, with no weapons at all, gets four hits at a reasonable damage and also a paralyzing bite. Um, starts with a base of five armor class, but can't wear armor. So starts out really strong, but um, has some limitations on equipment. And uh, they're big old multi-class here. So Druid as one of our healers and Psionicist. This is more of our offensive Psionicist in my opinion, uh, because the stats are better for it than on the Half Giant. Um, the, the bug Psionic should be very strong. And then Druid is more secondary, but I don't know, lots of buffs, lots of healing and buffs, and still also really good in fighting. So this is a really nice multi-class, I think. And then, in the back row, we've got Miss Grabby coming on over from other early 90s era gaming. And uh, this is just a half-elf. Uh, this is like your classic fighter mage cleric, except druids are better than clerics. And um, mages are now called preservers. So this is your standard multi-class from the other games, basically just copied over with Dark Sun stats, which are, you know, go above 18 because reasons. Um, Anyway, so very well balanced stats. Uh, probably not as safe in the front row as the uh, half giant or the bug, but also for now doing quite well. If you were a pure preserver, you couldn't equip armor or anything, but in old school, first, second edition D&D, fighter mages can wear armor and cast in it, so pretty sweet. 
Um, yeah. Metabolism, when, when you're not a scientist, I'm generally just going to pick metabolism for some self buffs. Don't expect a lot of psi powers from non psionics, but they'll get a couple. And then, last but not least, uh, we brought the blue Ankylas of all of all the names. So this time it's an actual elf, and it's a fighter preserver thief. Uh, I was a little bit hesitant to bring a thief anyway, but um, there is at least one or two times a thief will work, and we will try to get backstabs. I don't know how likely they are to work, but I will certainly try. Um, but this gives us two preservers, two druids, and two psionicists. So we've got a pretty well balanced party. And um, you can see pure elves have a slightly weaker wisdom constitution, and they get a little bit of extra intelligence and dexterity for it, which as a mage is actually pretty good. So, um, as a primary mage and less ability, this character probably has the least amount of abilities as a pure mage. So, we'll want to make sure we funnel um, scrolls to this character first, just to make sure they've got lots of options. And that's the, uh, the whole crew. So, uh, we will begin the game in just a second, but first, I want to show off the manual introduction, because although, you know, times are changing and the game does cover some of the story, um, there's still quite a lot in the manual uh, that you won't know about if you don't read the manual a little bit. So, um, just as a quick primer here, uh, Athos, the world of Dark Sun, was once as pleasant as any other. But after many thousands of years, powerful mages found ways to gain power through draining the planet's vitality. At their zenith, these wizards caused the sun to transform from a yellow glow to a raging crimson fireball on the horizon. The seas evaporated and were replaced by huge basins of silt. Um... Does this just continue? Yeah, just continue. I mean, I'll read this. Might as well. Mines played out rendering metal extremely rare, rare and valuable. Scarcer still were any sources of water. The creatures of Athos were twisted by the free use of magic. They constantly adapted to the harsh conditions. New monsters emerged from the deep desert to plague the remnants of man. Now the only stable concentrations of humanity are in tightly controlled city-states. Without exception, these are ruled by vicious sorcerer kings, the last remnants of the wizards who depleted Athos. These kings call themselves gods and rule through a religious organization known as the Templars. Their rule is uniformly harsh and capricious, and a large proportion of the population is, en is enslaved. Only the strongest can feel any measure of safety because the Templars can condemn anyone without a trial. The few places with any freedom are isolated villages founded by escaped slaves. Though free, life in the wastelands is precarious. Water supplies can fail, marauding monsters can devastate a village, and slavers are a constant threat. Until these tiny villages can look beyond day-to-day -day survival and ally with one another, they're unlikely to survive more than a few years. Shattered Lands takes place in and around the city-state of, city of Draj, ruled by the sorcerer king Tektukatitli. Tektukatitli, something like that. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so there you go, and then there's a little journal, I should probably read that, and then that'll be the last reading for this bit. Everyone loves reading with Ankylo. So, ah, oh, it's a bard, why is everything written by a bard, every time? I am Jareth, an itinerant bard lately of Draj. I had the dubious honor of spending time condemned to the arena. A noble whom I poisoned regretfully survived. Thankfully, my family was able to bribe a Templar with some magic fruit. Oh yeah, fruit's pretty rare in this game. We'll, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> it's basically like your potions. While locked in the slave pens, I was able to learn about the other slaves' lives. These illuminate the great challenges of surviving in Draj. The slave's most philosophical about his plight was a half-giant named Gareth, a gladiator of some repute. He had won many matches for the noble house of Tehu Tehu Tehuactyl. I don't know. He also had a misguided loyalty to his master. Thus, when a Templar came and suggested he lose his next match, Gareth broke the Templar's neck. In return, his master declared this an escape attempt and condemned him to die in the royal slave pens. He is still not bitter, but now seeks to escape to freedom. One of the most bizarre prisoners is the Three Queen Terim. 
She has been hunting city troops on the Salt Flats west of Draj when she was trapped by a powerful Templar. Rather than kill her outright, the Templar sent her to the arena so that her death could entertain the masses. While she doesn't mind the fight, she misses the hunt and the freedoms of the wasteland. Seleucus was a favorite of the Sorcerer King, destined to become one of the greatest gladiators of his time. He was pampered and allowed to spend time unescorted in the city. Alas, his brilliance led him to temptation. The Veiled Alliance convinced him to learn the ways of the Preservers. Foolishly, he set aside his gladiator's weapons and took to the arcane path of magic. His masters were shocked and condemned him to the slave pens. I believe they hope to force him to return to his gladiator skills to survive. However, I am sure he will not do so until he's mastered the spells of the Preserver. The beautiful Soraya is the offspring of a foolish human slave girl and a roguish elven caravan master. Her father left for other cities before she was born. Soraya spent her youth on the streets, stealing to survive. Before this life could wear her down, she was caught picking a preserver's pocket. He took her out of the city and trained her in the east near the volcano. She discovered peace amidst the harsh landscape. She learned to call forth on the spirits of Earth, as well as how to master the Preserver's dangerous art. She might have stayed forever, but a slaver band captured her and killed her benefactor. At the auction block, she used her spells to slay a Templar. Now she lives in the pens, seeking a way to the wasteland. Those condemned to slavery without connections such as mine can only find freedom by fleeing into the wilderness. Travelers tell me of whole villages free of freed slaves eking out an existence near small watering holes. Individually, these villages are so weak that a city patrol or band of raiders can wipe them out with ease. There are few slaves that have any planning or leadership ability. I believe that a strong personality could unite them in a dangerous force. I know that the Drajian Templars are beginning to share this view. I have heard rumors of a punitive expedition to clear those wastes of, this, of these villages all the way to the Silt Sea. I have a feeling those are the four default characters if you don't want to make your own. Um, I think. I know some of the, like, there are some characters in the first arena, like the the slave pens that we start at. But I think these are the four, at least this is like background if you don't want to make your own characters. But our characters are whatever we want them to be. So let us start our game. By order of the mighty and omnipotent King Tick something or other, all slaves fit to carry a sword shall fight in the arena. Death shall be the gladiator's payment for weakness. Let the games begin. If only I could have a halberd. You ready for this, guys? You haven't seen the gameplay yet. Top tier 1993 graphics incoming. This day, the mage Selgor will batter a fearsome rampager. Watch and enjoy. Do not worry, China. Your turn will come soon. Stand back and watch the battle. Alright, we got some Ice Storm. We got some Sligs. We got a rampager. Oh boy, he did not work very well. So it's very random. It's possible for the mage to win, but he needs to not get poisoned by the rampager. <laughs> Gladiators, step forward into the arena. So there's this guy up here. <laughs> you have good teeth. I have a friend who'd buy you. So we can actually talk to him a little bit. Um, let's say... Uh, bravery comes easily from behind walls. You need to learn respect. Trainer, release more monsters. All right. That may have been a bad mistake. Let's not talk to him until we get a level up. We'll talk to him more later. <laughs> okay, the good news is the green guys are like the easiest ones we're going to fight. <laughs> so, there's our monsters. There might be some more. Uh, just let the screen load. I think... You, I'm pretty sure you can get them to release more and more dangerous groups. I wonder if there's a way to uh, increase... 
I don't know if there, I don't think there's options to increase scroll speed. We're still too far back in time. But uh, yeah, there's a couple different uh, entrances to the slave to the arena here, and uh, you know we'll see lots of different kinds of monsters. Anyway, let's let's get to fighting. So, like I said, this is like all easy stuff here. Sligs, uh, not that scary. I think you can. This is like try to talk to them. You, oh no, it gives you a little bit of info. You could try to talk to them. Yeah, I think this is like their HP bar, their level, and their name. So you can get a little bit of information. See, upgraded. And um, yeah, you could you know try to shoot them with arrows if you got them. If you have magic, you could cast it from here. So the way this is gonna work is everyone is like an at will caster now. So there's not like specific memorization of. Uh, specific spells for each level like there was in the gold box games so we know four level one mage spells and we can cast two so whatever you want basically and then no level two spells yet uh toggle for psionics and this one works off of your blue bar uh, your sonic points we'll talk about these more later on uh, they get a little complicated sometimes but um you know they use your blue points and then there's metabolo Metabolic, there's Telepath, and uh, Kinesis if you've got it, but you can't check when you're not there. And then you can also see your current spell effect. So it's all here. It's, it's all decent. Let's uh, let's have the blue Ankylas take a swipe. Alright, well we got a hit. Nine damage. Can I... I don't know if I can move the camera. W-A-S-T... Oh, I pressed W and waited accidentally. I was just trying to move the camera with the keyboard. Alright, well let's send uh, the big hitter. China moves over. Oh, well, we got hit by uh, some sort of sonic attack by the beetle thing. All right, good start. Yeah, the uh, the green guys aren't very dangerous, and uh, you know Miss Grabby gets to do a lot of grabbing. Or sorry, that's uh, Strange Mind. This is Miss Grabby. Uh, so this guy, if I remember correctly, yeah, we've got all the cleric spells here. So same idea as uh, the preserver, except all the, except this time you don't have to learn your spells one at a time. So we get all the various cleric spells, and um, you know, honestly, a bless or something wouldn't be a terrible idea right now. You can cast five of them already. Uh, it still only lasts like six turns though, so it's pretty low duration. And you might want to just save them for cure wounds anyway, seeing as I don't want to die here. So let's just go smack things for now. Or at least try. I wonder if I can do a backstab. I don't know. I'm going to try to walk behind it. Doesn't hit. <laughs> it's, it's hard to say if that would have been a backstab if I'd hit, but we'll try. All right, well, uh, <clears throat> the giant bug has been doing real well. And we squashed the bug. Maybe they're acceptable gladiators after all. The crowd is awed by your awesome fighting ability. They begin chanting your name and tossing money down. So I believe it's the number of rounds it takes. Um, <laughs> if you're quick, they're awed. If you're slow, they think you suck. So we did a good job. Enjoy your victory while you can. You'll eventually beat your match. But we have to yell something back at him. Is that the best you can do? Those guys were way too easy. What? You upstarts, take this! Release more monsters. Okay. Uh, these guys are okay. A little bit more dangerous than the last group, but manageable, probably. So these guys are O2s at level 8. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I am going to bless for this fight, though. Don't want to accidentally bless them if it works like that. Alright, we are blessed. Blessed be us. Um, oh, look, there's little fire animations every now and then. Uh, now... Let's see, we've got our blessing on. We could go for an entangle. Um, I probably just want to start attacking. 
But, uh, you know, I do have some options. Life draining... You could try to put Mind Blank on, but these things are not going to have my psionic attacks. Uh, superior invisibility is... It's actually not greater invisibility, it's just normal invisibility, basically. And... None of this other stuff. Protection from breath weapons. It's just... We don't need any of this right now, basically. So let's just go smack them and see how this goes. Go, go, Strange Mind. Well, two for five. Could be worse. Alright, then Blue Ankylas is a little bit less durable. We could try... Some magic here. I guess... Wasting a turn on them might be worth it. Oh, I should have... I could put shield. Uh, yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. So, all that's going to do is give her some more eight armor class. Oof. Well, OTUs, you know, they do what OTUs do. I think I want my mages to shield themselves, actually. Uh, I'll show you the exact effect of that in just a second. Ooh, Strange Mind is actually about to go down. So, Blue Ankylas, if we look in the current spell effects, we've got the Bless and the Shield. And if we look at our character stats, I think the the shield gave her, I think it's two more armor class. And then the bless is one more. Or something like that. Maybe that was more just Thacko. Anyway, small buffs. I forget exactly the stats they were. We can look them up at some point if we want. We really should try to kill this one though. It's almost dead. Yeah, got him. Now, keeping in mind, these are like level 8 creatures. They are way stronger than we are supposed to be. I think I don't want this one to hit our three creams. So we're gonna move this way. Alright. Kill him. Good hit. Alright, keep hitting him. Now, Strange Mind is kind of in a dangerous position. Let's, uh. No, we're just gonna kill it. it I believe. I believe in you, Strange Mind. Good. Yes. Kill them all. Your little mantis punches. He's got to be close. Yeah, one more hit should do it. We got this, guys. We got this. Hey there, Grotham. Come on, guys. There we are. Ha! The crowd is awed by your awesome fighting. They're chanting your name again. Citizens of Draj, these pathetic, wretched, sorry excuses for gladiators are not our only entertainment. Do not worry, real warriors will be fighting later. <laughs> pathetic. I'll take on your best. What? You upstarts? Take this. Release more monsters. Hold on, before we do that, uh, let's do a little bit of healing here. I think it's 1d8, so we're hoping for good rolls. Not a good roll. Okay, that's pretty good. And then... Miss Grabby has the other cleric spells. We'll try to heal up China. I think this is going to be my last round. Uh, although you can stay pretty much as long as you'd like. Um, let's try and top everyone up a little bit. Alright, we used up all our spells. Okay. That's fine. We killed the three O2s. What could, what, what could, be, what could be next? Something on the right side. Okay, this is more dangerous. <laughs> okay, so this guy's not too bad. Level 3 guard. But this guy will kill you if you're not careful. <laughs> and then this guy's pretty scary too. But if we just go really fast... It's totally fine. Okay, we're good. That's all you gotta do is kill the mage on turn 1 and you're set. Now, the, the Mountain Savage, or whatever this thing's called. This guy is our second most dangerous creature. Mountain Stalker. Alright. Yeah, the Mage has Fireball and stuff, so, uh, you know. Conveniently, no attacks of opportunity in this game, though. 23 damage, not bad. Ah, stop punching. So, we got him... Yeah, he's got a lot of hit points, but we got him halfway dead. 
I think he gets like four or five attacks, so... Oh, come on. No! <laughs> they got children dressed as gladiators again. I thought I told Kurzak to stop selecting slaves by looking at their teeth. Well... He might have got a little bit lucky there. She did have really good armor class. Hmm, we'll see. Come on, team. Hold it together. Alright. Well, maybe they're acceptable gladiators after all. Now, I should check if she's actually dead or just unconscious. Um, yeah, that's not good. <sighs> Push my luck a little bit too much. Well, we'll have to have a little talk about that. All right, well, they're odd. And uh, eventually, enjoy your victory while you last. Eventually, you'll meet your match. Considering we very nearly died. Okay, we're, we're not gonna we're not gonna yell anymore. So yeah, that's definitely not ideal. Um, knocked out means you come back, but dead is dead. I guess I don't really want to redo the fight again. Let me just see. So basically, we're gonna miss out on like. However much experience that was. I think we went from 2,000... The triple class characters went from 2,000 to, to 3,400. So if I make a new one... If I re-Miss Krabby the second... Um, she'll be she'll be out 1,000 XP, basically. Because there is not really a way to raise dead right now. Anyway, uh, let's... How do I pick stuff up again? Is it just... Finicky mouse clicking... Ah, that one. So yeah, I guess that's like you use that to interact with most things. We could have picked up some clubs earlier if we wanted. I don't really see the point of that. There's actually quite a few things to do while we're in the uh, the arena here. So hold on just a second. I think if you wait too long, the... Uh, I guess we'll take them. Uh, I think if you wait too long, something will happen. <laughs> Help me, please! Uh, should I untie you? Yes! <laughs> but, uh, where could I get some water? That's more important. Uh, I'm so thirsty! I'll free you. Alright, he's freed. I'm such a nice guy. But he still needs some water to get out of here. So, uh, what else is there? Some, some dead body. Another club. Doesn't really help. Look for things to click on. Don't go clicking on doors, though. I think the exit we want is to the left. A two-handed bone githka. I don't think that's very good, but, you know, we can take it. Or I can try. There we go. Getting used to the interface. Half the battle. So thirsty. Cutting everyone down. But uh, I think he just died. There is a uh, vulture here. I think if we have a ranged weapon, <laughs> China hits it so hard she knocks the feathers off. Yeah. <laughs> we got some feathers from the bird. <laughs> it's a hard world, man. It's a difficult, scary world. The, the crowd didn't send me very much money. I've, I definitely remember lasting a lot longer down here and getting lots of good stuff. Lots of good money. But it does take a while. Uh oh, we stayed too long. I was just trying to pick up my money. Well, I think we're dead. We definitely don't want to be separated. No, oh, this is not good. <laughs> this is what happens when you take too long. Uh, at least we went first. Maybe, maybe we can somehow survive. Killing the mage is definitely the trick. Uh, we haven't seen these guys before. Wild mules. I think... I think the Daggeran does something annoying though, we'll see. Man, three creens are so good. <laughs> it's just too good. Problem is my half giant only has one hit point. Good punch. Charm, there you go. I knew it was something annoying. 
Down the giant goes. Yeah, we're... We're not doing well. We've all been charmed. I guess we were all charmed, and then it, like, ended combat because we were all on the same team until the charm wore off. So we kind of got saved, actually. It's interesting. That's why China got rezzed. <laughs> I hadn't seen that happen before. It's, it's fine, guys. Don't worry about it. It's all going according to plan. This is how you prove you're a true monster killer. A true gladiator. Alright, we got it. Yeah, these uh, green guys really aren't that scary. If only we had like five, three cream, we'd be totally safe. All right, <laughs> we gotta level up. We really should get out of here though. I'm not gonna read all this again. Let's just try to go quickly here. Get out of here, he says. Uh, we got some spare armor. We don't really need this stuff probably. I wish the mages dropped stuff when you killed them. You could get some scrolls or spell books or something. Okay, I think... Well, I left a little bit of money up there, but I don't want to spend too much more time in here. I was... We're, we were lucky to survive that last battle, so really... Let's get out of here and we'll have to revive our grabby. Isn't this the way out? Pretty sure... What am I doing wrong? Just like, clicking the wrong pixel? Unless he won't let us out. Oh no, maybe it's the way we came in. Maybe I'm crazy. I'm thinking of something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's this one. It's fine. I just forgot how to get out. The, the left and right and the bottom will come up later. Yeah, mules are half dwarf, half human, but kind of magic. All right, let's get out there. We'll, uh, we'll deal with the whole, um, dead character in a second. I mean, it's a fitting start to the gladiator combat. One of your four guys actually straight up dies. These are the slave pens. I'm Kurzak, leader of the guards. Follow me. I'm here to lead you to your cell. Um, tell me about your job. <laughs> Guard work's pretty routine. I take him to the arena. Sometimes I bring him back to the pens. Beats work in the pyramid. You must not get paid that well. I'm compensated by my love of my work. You love this? Aye, I enjoy seeing you fight in the arena. It's not the worst life. Now get moving. All right. There's a big half giant up here. Leg crusher. <laughs> it's Kurzak you want to talk to. I'm just a monster trainer. What am I fighting next? I don't know. Too early. Anything else, Kurzak? How do I get out of here? I don't know. <laughs> He's not a big talker. All right, go through the door. There's a place to rest down the east. I'll come get you when it's time for your next fight. If you want to fight before that, just come knock on the door. All right, welcome to Slave Pens. Let's go somewhere to rest. Quiet, someone's outside. Is it time to break out yet? Shh, not yet. Let's take an empty water pot for later quests. <laughs> Boy, I sure remember this. Hey there, Merzal. This is the Gog version, yes. Go talk to Scar and his men. Maybe they could use some raw muscle. Ha! <laughs> I'm China. What do I care what your name is? I'm Merzal. I'm the toughest son of a rampager you'll ever meet. Listen, slad bait. I'm in charge. I mean, we're, we're at like one hit point. This is not the time. I heard you talk about an escape. So, you heard about our escape plans. I'll tell you what. Everyone in my gang's been in the arena three times. You come back after two more fights in the arena, you can be part of our gang. What's in the haystack? Uh, haystack? What haystack? Uh, that haystack? Wait a minute. Who do you think there's something in the haystack? You spying on us? We all have haystacks. They're for sleeping. 
can't believe some stupid half giants trying to outwit me. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, again, we only have one hit point. Look, I overheard you're talking really loud. You ever, you were listening to our conversation? If I ever catch you doing that again, I'll have to kill you. All right, we'll be, we'll be back when we're a little stronger. Okay, this is our room, I'm pretty sure. Because this is our resting campfire. There's some haystack we could use. Alright, let's use this thing. The party rests. Okay, that's all you gotta do. Easy. Unfortunately, Miss Grabby is still dead. On the plus side, I know somebody leveled up. So, the blue Anki Lass is a level 3 thief. Thief is just such a bad class. I uh, almost regret it already. Uh, yeah, we'll get... Actually, yeah, China's level 3 fighter already. And, uh, Blue Ankylas is level 3 thief. I mean, we can definitely get everyone to level 3 or 4 in the arena, no problem. But, uh, we picked up some random gear, right? It's, a uh, per character inventory. I'm not really sure if you'd ever want to use this bone, Gaithka. It's two-handed, right? So you'd lose your shield AC. We can put some boots on. Here, have some giant booties. I don't think they do anything, but there you go. And then we do need the water pot for later. All right, 100 bucks after one slave battle. So I think what we have to do here is... Drop. Sorry, Miss Grabby. You've been dropped. And uh, now we make a new one. It's actually like, you can do this all inside the game. The, you know, it's convenient in that nature that if you don't like somebody, you just swap them, swap them out. Uh, so that was our uh, half elf, right? Sadly, my fighter druid preserver did not survive. What, what even killed her? That was, uh, oh, it was the ravager or the mountain stalker. Yeah, those guys are bad news. We'll do this again real quick. For those future tubers watching along, this is the kind of content you missed out when I made the full party. Anyway, it shouldn't take too long to remake. Basically just lost out in some experience, but... Uh, in the future, we'll probably do a lot more saving and reloading, but for now, you know, it's fine. Alright, so we'll rename. It uses... Uh charges so there's there's spell points for psionics or psi points and then instead of memorizing specific spells you just have the number of slots worth of cast kind of like a sorcerer it's it's kind of got a lightweight D, &D set word rule uh miss grabby 2.0 you know is she metal is she machine Druid, Fighter, Preserver, Fire, because the other one's Earth. That should get me. That was the way we did it last time. Alright, cool. Return. So, just that easy early game you can... Uh, let's search the haystack, though. Just that easy to, um, to rebuild a character in the early game, at least. At the high levels, it's not as easy, but, you know. China reaches her hand to the haystack and comes up with a piece of pot. Well, that's not very interesting. Is that it? Continue searching haystacks for needles. She comes up with an old table leg, which used to be used as a club. Hmm, one more time? Third time's a charm, right? Another leg of a chair. All right, well, so far we're not really getting anything worth anything. Honestly, this is just gonna cludge up our inventory, but 1d6 versus 1d8 minus one, actually. I don't know. That's uh, 0 to 7 versus 1 to 6. It's about as good as my bone sword. Alright. Animations. No, keep those on. Oh, yeah. Effect buttons. Yeah, I'm just. There's a lot of shortcut keys. The use button. X. Z. Alright. Let's go talk to this girl. I seem to remember she's important. Also, we have kind of a limited amount of time. The uh, they'll they'll summon us to go back to the uh, the the arena if we take too long down here. 
So this is Galal. Hello! Who are you and what do you want with me? Uh, I'm China. It's nice to meet you, China. I'm Galal. Yeah, what are you, why are you, why are you in the slave pens? What, why are you in here? I stole a loaf of bread to feed my family. They were starving. I had no other choice. A neighbor turned me in for the reward. His family was starving too. How long you been in here? Oh, a couple months. What's all this straw for? <laughs> well, you don't see any beds, do you? It's what we sleep on, of course. Draj's gladiators may be respected, but we still sleep on the ground. You have been in the arena? After I was arrested, I was immediately thrown in the arena with five other gladiators to fight a pack of screamer beetles. I was the only survivor. Luckily, I haven't had to fight since. Hmm. What other kind of creatures have you seen? Initially, all you fight are screamer beetles and slicks, unless you badmouth the, uh, the announcer. But eventually, they'll throw in some wild mules and renegade halflings. And once you get really good, they'll throw in things like mountain stalkers. Ha! <laughs> I'm glad I never got that far. Yeah, it would be nice if you had a couple level-ups before that. Who else is in the slave pens? The only person I've talked to is the trustee. How many guards? I don't know. I was brought by Kurzak. I saw a few guards at the guard station. Other than that, I don't know. Anyone ever escaped? Uh, oh no, my head! What's, what's going on here? I don't know, I feel okay. What happened? Well, sharp pain went in my head. Yeah, as soon as you talked about escaping. Very suspicious. Let's search another haystack. Uh, we found a bug. <laughs> it's actually on the ground there. Can I grab it? You can click on it, but we cannot pick it up. Do a couple more searches. You never know. More bugs. Alright, well, I tried three times. That's all I'm going to commit to. But there's more haystacks to search. Maybe. Actually, I think you can only search. You can only click on the big ones. You can interact with them. I mean, the slave pens look pretty empty to me. Like, they got dead guys. <laughs> they just left some guy there. He's supposed to be in the arena fighting, but they forgot him. These look like more comfortable mats than just a pile of hay. Hey, there's Trump. We got ourselves a door. Right, I see. You can't click the info. So I'm just figuring how it works. The door is locked. It appears quite sturdy. I'm not allowed to bash things down, sadly. Alright, here's some more actual people. We got the trustee. Okay, so this is the person Galal was saying she talked to. So, you're the new gladiators. Pretty scrawny. You should be thankful you're here and not in the village. Did I ever tell you about how I got here? No. I was a victim of circumstance. I was hired by a Templar who needed a guide to Ram. He wanted to surprise his brother, so it was just us two. He was jabbering about how much he hated walking. When we were ambushed by a pack of three Korean, I fought off six of them. But the Templar died. Hi, my name's China. Yes, yes, I remember you. I'm not so old I can't remember a name. We've never talked before. This is the first time we've ever met. <laughs> yeah. So we have it. Uh, no, uh, well, I'm the trustee, and uh, that is what I, you may call me, for I haven't any other names now. No, no other names. This guy, uh... <laughs> what village, anyway? Did I mention the villages? Uh, there's groups of free people who have banded together over the years. The city hates them because they work harder than city folk and won't buckle to cut you something or other. So, uh, accused of murder then, huh? Right, yeah, I returned here and uh, told him, the head Templar, what happened. He accused me of setting up the ambush, threw me in the slaves, slew me in the, threw me in the slave pens to fight as a gladiator. Now I take care of them all. So did you get your freedom? No. Nobody wins their freedom in this place. Tell me, tell me about the others. So, who's Dinos? Never even heard this name. Dinos is an extraordinary cook. When the Templars of the Pens caught wind of his talent, Dinos was taken to as the, his personal chef. Dinos hasn't fought in the arena since. He was moved to a nice suite of rooms to the south. Locked. How about Galal? Uh, she's a bizarre case. She was in here in a week. She was in here a week fighting an arena contest. 
She disappeared for about a week and hasn't been the same since. She just sits there, not talking. Hmm. Suspicious. What about Mirzal? Ah, he's a tough warrior, but not too bright. His gang is loyal, composed of some of the best gladiators in the arena. He would be king of the pens, but Scar's gang is more disciplined. What's a Merlon? Merlon's ambitious, but he's a little fungus. Axel's all sweet and friendly, till he can make some money off you. He'd sell his brother for five ceramics. What about this Scar? Scar's the toughest gladiator around this crowd favorite in the arena. He rules the slave pens. Well, how do I go visit that cook? I got a key. Go south. I'll be there in a second. You want to meet him? Sure. Alright, we'll go down and meet him in a second. We got some Scar henchmen. Scar's the man you want to talk to. He's the boss. Okay, we'll go say hi to Scar first real quick. I don't know you. You must be the new gladiators. I'm Scar and I run these pens. Don't cross me and there won't be any trouble, understand? Maybe after a couple more visits to the arena we'll talk. Everyone thinks we're too much of a rookie. We can make his bed for him. We turn his candles off. <laughs> Alright, I want to go visit this cook before we get called back in. Alright, it's open. Don't tell anyone I did this for you. I'm going back to work. Hey, 200 quest experience. Hey, we did need some water, didn't we? What if... You filled up a water jug. <laughs> Deal. Alright, can we get some more of those water jugs? Can't click on those. You never know for sure what you can click on in these kinds of games. So just click everything. There there might be a couple, like, click a tiny button in the background times, too. But those will be real fun. Hey there, Dino. Did you hear someone screaming? Yeah, Galal. Is she alright? Uh, not really. No more time for talk. Take me to her at once. Alright. Can I just check this out while we're here? Wardrobe? Search? Of course. <laughs> we took damage from opening it. A pot dropped on us and did three damage. Now this guy's got a pretty cool bed, I have to admit. Alright, let's go visit Galal if we can. Everyone's so slow compared to us with their tiny human legs. Come on, let's go, buddy. Escort quest, right? Alright, we made it. Dinos lays his hands on Galal's head, concentrating. After a few moments, Galal regains her senses and he turns to leave. It worked! I must go. My people need me. More bonus experience! Anyone get a level up yet from all these bonus experiences? Uh, 3, 2, 2, 2, 2... 2, 2, 3. We're getting real close to everyone being level 3, though. 4,000 experience generally covers most level 3. So, we're getting there. Quest experience, like most of these old games, is definitely, like, probably more valuable than combat experience most of the time. Thanks for your help. It was uncommonly kind of you. So, how are you feeling? Yeah, I feel great. The best I've felt in a long time, thanks to Dinos. My head's perfectly clear. So what was that about escaping that you didn't want to talk about? In the northernmost monster pen, there's a secret passage which leads to the sewers. It's a big hole in the northwest corner of the pens to the west of the kitchen. You just have to push the button in the corner of the pen and it'll open. Be careful the guards there. I had to break something to distract him, but you could probably just kill him. How far did you get? I made it as far as the desert to the north. Something startled me and I jumped behind a rock. I fell down an embankment and broke my leg. Guards from the city found me the next day. The Templar healed my leg and put some kind of memory block in my head so I couldn't, wouldn't be able to tell anyone. What's the wilderness like? Well, I didn't get too far, but I've heard there's a village where escaped slaves live. 
how big are these villages? Well, it depends. Most are pretty small. They barely scratch out a living. There's not enough water out there to let a lot of people live for long. But I heard of one to the north where a man dug a well that's lasted years. I think his name was Domini? But that's probably not true. No one could do that. So where are these? villages. I don't really know. I grew up in the city, and the people there just don't care about anything outside. They try to ignore the wilderness, especially after the rumors started by Tehik something or other. Getting together an army to squash the villages. What are these rumors? That's all I really know. If it's true, it's bad. Those villages can't stand against an army the size of Tehik. Why don't they fight them together? What are you talking about? Like, you know, everyone allies? Like a team? Like a party? How can they trust each other? If someone could do that, it would be a great feat worthy of telling for generations. No one's ever allied whole villagers together. Yeah, like a state of people that all work together for a common cause. No one's ever done that. Alright, I am planning to escape. You want to come with me later? I'm not sure I could go through that again. If I escaped and got recaptured, I'd be killed. But I wish you the best of luck. Alright. <laughs> uh, before we end our first episode here, I would like to save it and then go do one more arena fight, I think. We have to... Oh, it just closes... <laughs> nice. If you save the game, it closes the game. I wonder if there's like a quick save button that doesn't do that. <laughs> No saves coming allowed. But also, you have to close the game to save it if you want to do anything dangerous. That's that's going to be annoying if we have to do that. I didn't type in anything for the name. That's all that is. It's fine. Mostly, I just want to save so that if someone dies, we can go back. But... Yeah, that's, that's interesting. Oh, maybe maybe it's because I had exit save game. Hold, there's probably a way to get... Yeah, if we go through it this way. Yeah, it'll be fine if we do it like that in the future. I forgot about this page. Um... Yeah, there is a map. That's not bad. So you can kind of see the slave pens is kind of locked here. The cook, if we can get past this second door, does open up into the rest of the area. And I think this is like the guards quarters up here, and then this is going to be the way out if we ever make it there. So uh, there's lots to explore, but I think we're kind of locked here until sort of the story progresses a little bit. And there is one person, I think, walking around that we missed. Oops. Oh boy, I'm way off course here. Alright, let's go talk to this guy. Oh, is this just, this is just uh, the trusty? I thought there was like some other guy. The one that we shouldn't trust. Anyway, I'd like to go do one more, uh, one more slave battle before we uh, wrap up this episode. All right, summon Kurzak. I want to fight. I'm on my way, slave. Sounds like you're my slave now. All right, follow me, to the arena slave. Will he even notice that one of our characters is different than last time? After they died, but now they're back? Hey, Leg Crusher. What am I in for? Ah, throw some mules and halflings at you, I guess. Alright, give us a good show. If you, if you draw out the battles, you get less money, though. Technically. Alright, guys. Round two. Let's see how this goes. Now you can try to talk to the uh, the announcer. <laughs> Don't expect mercy from me. We keep you here to fight, not lie around and get fat. Hmm. If I die, I die. A convenient philosophy for Gladiator. I approve. <laughs> All right, let's go. Uh, we do have some water. Don't forget. So we can give some guy some water if he's if he's still alive. <laughs> Citizens of Draj, behold these gladiators as they fight in melee 
and possibly with magic. With the terrible beast that exists beyond our walls, thank your king to suck him, rather, for his protection. Hail our lord master, the great to something or rather, whose protective wings smother us all in their malignant glory. All right, well, this fight looks easy compared to the stuff we were doing last time. Maybe they're acceptable gladiators after all. Well, we just killed the halfling like it was nothing. Wonder if I can get a... No, which one? The pink dress, the blue ankula, she's the one with the backstabs. Such poor quality creatures. A child could kill them while well, they are halflings. Alright, maybe we can do a backstab here. I don't know. Yeah, that was definitely a backstab. Nice. <laughs> so, yeah. You know, it's possible. You just gotta be careful when you move around. Such poor quality. Yeah, these guys were pathetic. Oh, boy. We got a... Uh... Our half giant is now level three psionicist. We get, I believe, two abilities, and they're not locked by in any level. So you just have to know which ones are good and which ones are not good. Um, and you can enhance them too. You see, this is the trouble. Oh, it gets so complicated so fast. Um, so there's some cool stuff that might not be good at a low level, but you know, disintegrate's pretty awesome. Uh, I like the idea of that. Uh, I know people probably want to see stuff like domination. <laughs> Straight up uh, mind control. There's, uh... I think... There's one of these that's like, uh, like... Mind blank is your classic personal protection from psionicists. But there's definitely one that affects the whole party. I forget which one it is. There's a lot of protection type spells. All mines within the area effect are protected against sonic attacks. So something like Intellect Fortress might be useful for um, protecting the whole party. Uh, Ego Whip and Id Insinuation are both like... Uh, single target um, sort of stuns or paralyzes. Mind Blank is your personal protection. Psionic Blast is like, if it works, uh, reduces what their HP is. They fall unconscious, but you might as well just, die. they're just dead. So if it does work, it tricks them into pretending they have less HP than they really do. Um, but metab Metabolic is where there's a lot of cool stuff. Um, I'm not sure how flesh armor would work on a three cream, but it does change your basic armor as if you had like either a shield or like you know leather armor, chainmail, basically as your level goes up. Um, but if we take on something like, in fact, I don't know how any of these work with a three cream. Yeah, I don't even know. But I do know that something like displacement is pretty good. Because this is like uh, basically the same as Blur. So this is just straight up two armor class better. And strength is also pretty good too. Just set your strength to 24. And there's another one that gives you more defense as well. What's it called? Displacement. Is it cell adjustment? No, that's just... Pr pr that cures poison, which is pretty good. A small strength boost. Energy containment. This is pretty good. Makes you immune. Pretty sure it just makes you immune to all energy attacks. Like, that's pretty good. There's, so, I mean, like, you know, it's crazy, right? There's some pretty cool stuff here. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's... Flesh armor. Displacement. Biofeedback. That's the one I was looking for. So this gives you two damage reduction and also one AC as well, which is, in the early game, damage reduction tends to be really nice because you're taking straight up less damage even if you do get hit. I'm going to try biofeedback. And we get one more power. Uh, I mean, I'm definitely going to take energy containment later on. I don't know how enhancing really works. 
if it's worth just picking a couple and then powering them up. There's there's a lot of things. Like I know mind blank is good, but I don't know if leveling it up does anything. Yeah, I don't know how body weapons work on a on a three cream either. Control body also gives you a way to like like it it gives control of an enemy character. Um, although they're not very good at attacking with your control, but still, it means they're not casting fireballs on you or anything. And and then inertial barriers what protects you from all those breath weapons. There's so many, so many bonuses. Um. Allow one arm of the Scion Assist to temporarily become a weapon. I'm worried that on the three Kareen, this will stop the, the four times attack. And a Broadsword is not much better than a 1d4 uh, three Kareen Claw. I think this is more for Scion Assists that don't have, like, fighter proficiency for weapons. I feel like Graft Weapon is better. If it works. Or just straight up have tons of strength. Oh, let's just take both of the defensive ones. I know I'm going to want them. Ah, it was too easy. Perhaps these monsters would be more of a challenge. Okay, I didn't even have to, like, talk back to him to get a second one. Okay, let's throw on Ble... No, no, Bless only lasts a short time. I will throw on Shield, though, for my two mages. Try to keep them alive. And Oh, maybe those don't show up until you've rested. Oh wait, wrong person. I was thinking three Kreen. I was using the half giant. Actually, no, this is really good though. So I don't know exactly how long these will last. I think they last until you run out of uh, side points, basically. But if I throw on biofeedback and displacement, we, we failed our check. One day I'll talk about how that works. But with both of those active, our AC went from 5 to 2. And we've also got 2 damage reduction. And then my shield, yeah, that's fine. We just got the defensive buffs. That's good enough. Let's try to get into combat before that wears off. I don't expect it's going to last super long. Okay, wait, why are you in charge? No bugs in charge. Oh, there's some new monsters. All right. All right, I think that spell animation... I don't know. What is this guy? A Strine. I don't know what he did. I know these guys do charm persons. So that's pretty dangerous. Let's go smack the yellow frogs if we can. That's good. Did we get... Yeah, so as time goes on, our Sonic Points will drain because we have these activated. They will wear up... We will drain us down to zero eventually, and then they'll go away. But for at least one combat, they should work. Hmm. Alright, that was maybe some kind of... Might have been like a psionic attack. I'm not 100% sure. The kind of thing that Mind Blank might protect you from. Yeah, I don't feel like the porcupine things are very dangerous, but I don't know for sure. I think the uh, the orange frogs are pretty much straight up the most dangerous thing there. I think we can do a backstab if I... Not like it matters on these guys, but... We would have had to actually hit it. Every time that animation triggers, I think that's costing us our um, upkeep. Surprisingly hard to hit these things for all they're not very strong. Also just early game. Look at all those levels. The crowd is awed by your awesome fighting. Luck seems to be on the side of the gladiators. You know what? I don't think we've taken any damage at all. That wasn't luck. So anxious to kill, are we? T 
Tick Huck Tick Huck will be pleased. Monster Trainer, release more monsters! Okay, our buffs are not gonna last much longer. Uh, but we did get some level ups, so let's see who got leveled up. We have a uh, level 3 Fighter Psionic, level 3 Fighter Druid. No levels here for poor Miss Grabby. But the Blue Anki Lass is a level 3 fighter now. Nice. Yeah, we could definitely get him into level 3 or 4 very quickly. Alright, go, go, go. Before... Oh, another easy fight. Maybe. <laughs> Come on. No! <laughs> okay, it's only Ice Storm. We, we gotta kill this guy right now, though. Ice Storm is 3 to 30, so it could have killed our mages in one shot uh, if we had bad luck. But we got good luck. Technically, everyone's fine. Ah, man, those mages. We're just lucky he didn't do Fireball, because that'll do... I don't know, he's level 9? 96? Like, that's that's pretty bad. Um, why can she not use any magic? Oh, Psionics. Not, not Cleric. I thought... I thought I only cast shield once. Oh, I guess because she took damage this round. Yeah, it's probably got the uh, the old that style. Yeah, if you take damage, you probably can't cast magic. That that's the way it used to work. Okay, we probably should try to focus down this. Uh, Daggeran. They're a pretty low level, but yeah, Charm Person is too dangerous. Good job, bug. Okay, well, other than the mage, this was this fight was easy. We just throwing a level nine wizard at you is pretty rude. Pretty good hits. Uh, I'm not even 100% sure why we're getting two attacks per turn sometimes with our characters. Wow, these guys are both practically dead. I guess it's it says 1.5 times, so usually you don't get your second attack until like level 7. But I guess fighters must be getting some... Is that how it works in second edition? Fighters just passively get an extra attack every second round. It's like, it's like putting a weapon focus or whatever in, in uh, Baldur's Gate, I guess. That was definitely a backstab damage there. Oh, and if you spend all your moves, you can't even do an attack. I don't... Or no, you can. It just tries to end your turn. Okay. Good things to learn, mechanically speaking. The crowd is odd. All right, these protect. Yeah, well, this is this is good. We've done enough fighting for today. That was good. Three rounds of combat, and we've got two people basically dead. So let's get out of here. Let's try to pick up the money before we get uh, into more combat. Oh, hey, that's actually a good one there. That's a sling. That's our first ranged weapon, other than the. Uh, that means there should be another one, yeah. We can give these to people and then not always have them run into melee if I want. Oh, but there was two feathers from the bird I didn't pick up. I'm just trying to go fairly quick here. I gotta go back to the guy that's... Uh, on the ground there. I have you some water. Don't. I, oh, I think I have to actually give it to him. That's fine. We we did a little. We did a little side quest here. We can get some bonus experience. Wow! I needed that. Thanks. I'm getting out of here. Look at all the experience. More levels. Okay. This time, strange mind. This is our our uh, insect. And uh, honestly, I feel like it's not a terrible idea to go with the two defenses right off the bat. They seem like... And I think... Part of the problem is early game, you don't have a lot of side points. You can't keep going for super long. 
I don't think the manual mentions extra attacks at all. I did skim through it before we started. If you don't know second edition rules, you just, you're on your own. Yeah, we'll take displacement and uh, biofeedback again, I think. Wherever it is, that one. All right, see you later. Dude, pick up a little bit more money. We will need money eventually, but no shops early game. All right. So we rescued a guy. I think, yeah, he just stays here, doesn't he? It's kind of weird. Semyon. I assume you're eventually going to want to escape. Hot today out here, isn't it? He just lives out here in the arena now. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> it was a little cooler just before you came out. Slight Breeze died out around half an hour ago. So what do you know about the Veiled Alliance? Eh, nothing. That's the trouble. I was turned in because I was looking for the Alliance. Just tell me the name of one contact. Anyone. I'm not from the Veiled Alliance. Fine. Have it your way. Can't blame a soul for asking. You want to uh, help me in the arena or anything? You mean me in the arena? I don't think I can be any help. I'm more of a scout than a warrior, really. <laughs> Let's see you around. <laughs> Super helpful. All right. And with that, our second visit to the arena is completed. Once we get back to our pens and have a little nap, um, we'll probably have to end our episode for the future tubers. Let's get you back to the pens. You obviously need some rest. I mean, we're not doing too bad. At least no one died this time. No mountain ravagers. Alright, go through the door. There's a place to... Yeah, we know the drill. Now, if I remember correctly, none of the people will talk to us anyway, because this is still only two visits. We have to go back to the arena again to actually get Merzel or... Um, what's his name to do anything? Yeah. We need three trips to the, to the arena. Now, you don't have to do multiple fights in the arena, so you don't necessarily kill hard enemies. You just fight the uh, fight the low-level enemies, and you can get through it pretty easily. But because we're so we have we have such good stats, it's only fair that we uh, <laughs> we just have to cook the pl plucked vulture. Oh yeah, um, it's only fair that we uh, we fight some advanced combat before we come back. Mmm, cooked vulture. I wonder who we have to give that to. We got some bird. I guess we can fill up our water pot while we're back here too. I don't think you need broken pots. Pretty sure they're just garbage. Oh yeah, and then the leather slings. So let's give those to my girls in the back. Yeah, it's not very good compared to your we melee weapons because no strength bonus. But it gives you something you can do without getting into melee if you have one hit point. And no spell slots. I'm sure we'll find bows for everyone eventually. Alright. Yeah. Good start. Good start. Had a little nap. And everyone is back to full. And we've got... Well, we didn't get any more spells yet, but we have lots of side points on my... My two psionicists, so their their abilities will last a bit longer now. And I think it's basically guaranteed, assuming you didn't die in your first combat, that one more round will get us to level 3 mage, which means level 2 spells. Uh, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I don't think you'd get probably much past around 5,000 on a triple class. So you're probably looking at around... I don't know... 10 to 15,000, I guess probably closer to 15,000 experience per character during the, uh, the, the pens. Because you gotta do those three battles to get out of there. But anyway, we gotta get uh, Miss Grabby some experience so she can start getting a little bit more hit points and everything. She's a little bit on the frail side still. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Alright. 
yeah, I'm going to call that our first episode. So for you future tubers out there that are watching this someday in the future, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the uh, first episode. I think next episode will be likely enough to get us uh, out of the slaves, or at least begin our slave revolt. I don't want to spend too long just grinding stuff away in the arena, but it's nice to get some level ups early on, and the arena fights aren't really too bad, generally. Pretty good experience. But uh, yeah, we will be talking about our breakout soon. So thanks for watching, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.